Welcome back to Spotlight On. Uh, I'm again Sarah Kennedy, and we're here again with musician Ivan A. Dune. Uh, so, Ivan, this is a uh, bass, yes? This is a bass. Awesome. When did you start playing this instrument? I, pl I started playing this when I uh, was in the sixth grade, so that's about five years ago now. Good. So you were about this this tall? Yeah, about that tall. Did you have to stand, or uh, how do you? Uh, I just had a. They make smaller basses. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, that's They're cute. Adorable. <laughs> Awesome. So uh, I know you've got a piece ready to perform for us. What, what, tell us a little bit about what you're going to do for us. Uh, so this is a, a movement actually of a Bach cello suite transcribed for the bass. Um, this is going to be the first bore from suite number three. Awesome. How come you picked it? Uh, because it doesn't require a, any pianist or anything and it's, it's sort of impressive. Awesome. OK, well, I'm just going to let you go ahead and do what you want to do, you guys. All right. Please enjoy the music of Mr. Ivan A. Dune. <laughs> Everybody. So, Ivan, here's the deal. Um, do you ever play any other um, genres on the uh, bass? Yeah, I'm also an active jazz musician. Oh, awesome. That's so cool. Do you ever rockabilly it up? Uh, <laughs> not really, no, but I have friends who do. Oh, that's cool. Um, I was going to ask you, because I, I play a little bit of guitar, and one of the things that always really interests me about other stringed instruments is how do you know where the notes, how to place the notes if there's no frets? Um, Sort of the way that singers know where the notes are, despite the fact that they don't have frets in their voice. Um, it's just uh, if you if you play it long enough, you sort of get a sense of where where I, I'm sure this is true on guitar too. If you have to play a B or whatever, you know where that fret is. You may not know exactly where it is, but you have an idea where you have to move your hand to, and that's the way it is here. You have an idea. If I move my hand here, this is an F. If I move my hand here, this is an E. That sort of thing. That's awesome. You were really ripping it up. I was oh, really, thank you. That was really, really incredible. Thank you so much for coming here and performing with us today. Um, so where do you want to see music take you? Um, well, if I could become an orchestral musician, that would be wonderful. That's my dream right now. Um, definitely, uh, I love playing orchestral music. Uh, I love playing jazz music. I love listening to music. Um, and I know even if that's not what I become, uh, music is going to follow me through my life, and that's real encouraging. Mm -hmm, absolutely. So, uh, what's a uh, what, what what's a great city for for musicians to go to for? Um, for for almost anything, uh, cities like uh, New York, Chicago, and Cincinnati 
are are uh, happen in music places in most of the big cities in California as well. Yeah, absolutely. And I think it's so incredible that so much is going on here uh, mm -hmm. musically here in New Mexico. Definitely here in New Mexico, there is a lot, especially here in Albuquerque. There's a lot of great music going mm -hmm. on all the time. So where can people find out more information about where you're playing and stuff? About where I'm playing? Yeah, just in... Uh, well, I'm, I'm a member of the Albuquerque Youth Symphony, so uh, if you go to ays.com, or one of those, mm -hmm. uh, you can find a list of the concerts that we play there. Mm -hmm. Great, and then there's more information too about the New Mexico Music Guild, and you guys can find out that by, uh, but go visit that kind of stuff by, by, by going here, right there. Go there, go find out more information. Um, so would you mind playing us out? Maybe something a little jazzy? Uh, not at all. Great. All right, again, you guys, here's Aiden, uh, Ivan Adun, and when we come back, we'll have Dirk Norris. So stay with us on Spotlight Home.